I'm Levelin from Robobionics, here to tell you about Grippy, a flagship product that was developed on the concept a hand for a missing hand with the sense of touch. We are a registered startup of India. I have completed my master's in computer science and engineering from IIT Patna and I have a disability which is orthopedically handicapped. My right hand is half below elbow and due to that I face various problems in my daily life. I can now do programming. Motivated with the success that we were able to prove with Giant, all the people that helped me on my thesis came together as a team and we decided that we should not limit this to a single person or just let this technology lie in a lab. And we wanted to do something where we could take it to the masses where not only we were solving a problem for people with uh, uh, an amputation but also for those who are having a problem with a congenital uh, deformity. Let us now take two steps back and understand what is the importance of both hands. So in order to understand this better, we founders did a small social experiment among ourselves. This is a solution grippy which can be called an advanced prosthetic hand or a semi-bionic hand. 
reason an advanced prosthetic hand because compared to my electric prosthetics it is slightly superior with sense of touch technology as well as a five finger articulation why not a bionic hand is because even though it has a five finger control the grip cannot be controlled by the user but it is controlled by a rudimentary form of an ai that is it can take the shape of the object as well as decide how much grip force it needs to hold it with this is grippy uh, the grip work the socket its battery housing and the sensors placed inside it so as soon as i switch on grippy and insert my stump in through the socket I just need to actuate uh, the sensor and grippy will close. So there is a button actual delay of around 3 seconds for the sense of touch technology. I'll explain that soon. And as soon as I press it again, it will open. Now suppose I put my hand in between and take the shape of my hand. And it has a grip strength enough to you know take its own weight of a kilogram so that tells you how strong the grip force is at the same time adequate enough not to crush my hand so if i just obstruct two fingers it's taking that shape if i obstruct another two fingers it will take that shape finally again put my hand inside and it's taking the shape of my hand so this is possible because of something we know as uh, a rudimentary form of AI that helps it uh, to automatically detect the shape and take the shape of the object and this enables our users, it reduces the stress on the user to learn to use different sort of grips. They only need to learn opening and closing, the gripping part is taken care of entirely by the grip. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have designed it to look very similar to a real hand. So five fingers, five fing all five fingers moving. Uh, the glove is a cotton blaze glove with silicon fingertips for gripping force. Uh, the advantage is uh, that it is a removable glove. So a user can remove it, wash it. Uh, we do give a spare glove with the device. so you can. Uh, re reuse and rewash your gloves n number of times before they can get worn out. Something which is not possible in traditional prosthetics wherein a fixed silicon glove comes along with the device and if there is any sort of wear and tear, replacing those gloves are quite expensive. Next what you would like to say is, uh, so compared to a typical hand, there is a slight tilt in the gripper to ensure that there is a proper design optimized gripping force to cylindrical or spherical objects. There is a cooling mechanism inbuilt into the system out here so that the temperature inside the socket can be reduced by around 3 to 5 degrees so it's more suited to the Indian environment. And finally there is a sensor optimization technology. Uh, what this does is so if I'm holding on to the object, if my hand uh, assume is closed, my hand is closed like this and I, there is an object it's actually holding on to. When the hand is uh, actually moving, I cannot open it up. But as soon as I stabilize my hand and uh, let it uh, regain its control, I can then open it up. This helps in avoiding those false triggers that we see with traditional EMG sensors. Now the last part, uh, sense of touch. Why it is so important and what is so good about it. So when you are receiving a phone call or a SMS in a meeting, you know very easily can differentiate whether what you have received by SMS or a phone call. That happens through your the vibrations that you feel from your phone. A similar set type of technology is embedded into this device, wherein in case of opening, closing, holding on to a soft or a hard object, 
the user can actually feel whether they are holding onto a soft or a, a hard object or whether the hand is opening or closing. And this helps because it's a form of biofeedback to the user to ensure that they are, we are closing the entire loop. His brain is informed that what command he gave to the device has been performed. It is more closer to a real hand compared to devices where you have to actually continuously keep looking at the device to ensure that it is closing. In an EMG system, there are a lot of transition errors. Now, what is a transition error is in a prosthetic hand when using it, if you're doing some sort of an intermediary motion in order to approach an object to lift it, there is a possibility that there could be a false trigger happening. That is, without you giving the command, the hand may open or close on its own. Now, this could be risky or even dangerous at times where you may be dropping a glass object or something heavy on yourself or on somebody else nearby. With MMG, we are able to eliminate these transition errors, giving us a very smooth operation. And because of these smooth peaks, the MMG system can be learned by a user much faster and more efficiently. Rippy has been designed keeping in mind that a user doesn't need to come back all the way to us in case of a minor repair or a service. We are seeking our partner's support from the prosthesis to be able to service this device at a local level as much as possible. Now, for warranty, the device comes with a one year warranty and six months warranty on the accessories bundled with it. Yes, there is an option to extend the warranty. There must be some doubt on your mind by now about if Rippy is really safe. How is it made? Is it tested? Is the quality of it good? The sense of touch really work. Rippy has been tested in a NABL certified lab in India for the certification which is done by CDSCO 
we do have an NOC and the question is how good is it? We are undergoing a voluntary clinical evaluation with a hospital known as Sancheti Institute of Rehabilitation and Orthopedics in Pune which will ensure that we comply to even the CE marking that is the European standards of approval. Hello, my name is Jayant Vyas. I am alumni of IIT Patna and uh, I have used this equipment of uh, artificial limb by uh, Hope, Bionic Hope uh, Private Limited and I use this and it is very uh, useful for the people like me who have uh, problems in their hand uh, orthopedically handicapped and it is very nice so aap log bhi matlab jo isko use karna chahe kar sakte hain aur isko use karne ke baad mujhe isko use karna bhi zyada sikhne mein time nahi laga matlab around half half hour ka humne do training session kiye aur usme main isko chalana seekh gaya hu aur iska weight bhi jo maine previous jo use kiye jaise ki mujhe kuch government camps mein kuch free mile the to main unko use kiya hu to unko use karne mein problem ye hai ki aap usko singly pehen nahi sakte matlab aapko koi ek assistant chahiye jo aapko usko install kare aapki body pe तो इसको यूज़ करना बहुत इजी है आप सिंगली एक आप अपने एक हाथ से उसको यूज़ कर पाएंगे और लाइट वेट भी है वो जो होते थे वो इतने हैवी वेट होते थे कि अराउंड मतलब ऐसे ही कभी हमने वेट नहीं किया लेकिन अराउंड वो मोर देन वन केजी होंगे लेकिन ये तो 500 600 ग्राम का है तो और आगे इसको इम्प्रूव करने में और भी हो सकता है इसका वेट कम हो जाए तो ये अच्छा है मेरा नाम नितिन कुमार मिश्रा हुआ उम्र तेईस वर्ष गाय के चारा के लिए कुटी काटने गया था तो दुर्घटना घट गई करीब इस दुर्घटना घटला करीब मेरा सात आठ साल हो गया तब तक मैंने कोई हाथ यूज नहीं किया तब हमारे गांव के एक गेसी में ड्यूटी करते थे धर्मेंद्र जी उनका नाम है वो बताएं तो फिर हम सब लोग से मिले सर लोग से मिले तो फिर हमें एक दिन फर्स्ट बार आए उसको बाद दूसरा बार आए तो सर लोग हमारे हाथ में हाथ लगाए उसको बाद फिर आसानी से हम कोई चीज पकड़ लेते थे इस चीज से हमको अंदर से बहुत खुशी हुआ सीखने में करीब सर जी आधा घंटा हमें समय लगा Some more testimonials from our users as well as PNDOs who have fitted these devices onto users wherein it has never taken more than a few minutes to maximum half an hour of training for any of the users.